Alrighty, so in this video, let's just look at the basic five button structure of what a Blackboard class looks like. Um, let me just go to one of my classes that I already have set up my 2012 summer, Math 140. Now the goal of the five buttons is so that when a student looks at a certain class, it doesn't matter if it's a math class, history class, English, PE, that they all kind of look the same. So there's less confusion. All right. And the five buttons that we have is the announcement page. This is kind of like the landing page when somebody clicks in. This is what the student would see. The only problem with this announcement page is that it kind of fills it in with what the student would see, but also what the instructor kind of sees. So we don't get to see what everything that the student sees, but this is the basic idea. All right. So we have the announcements, the basic uh, information. You have getting started. The goal of the getting started button is just to give some basic information of when a student just first starts a class, what are some things that they would see. So you can make this have a lot of information, just the basics. Probably the basics would be to make sure that you have your syllabus and syllabus addendum, right? But you can add certain things, how the course works, technology links, if you're doing some supplemental materials like our web assign, some good information there. Uh, that the students might need, course schedule, but the getting started button is just basically what the students need to know maybe like during that first week. If you look over at the course content you can add things in here or you can kind of leave it blank however much you want to do. The course content is just to give students information about certain chapters. So here I have some different information that the students could use. Now there's nothing that's graded in this section, but you might want to post some stuff about chapter one, maybe some stuff that you do in your labs, some videos, or you know maybe some uh, things that the students could use outside of the classroom, maybe in case they were absent. Under assignments, now these are things that that you would probably would grade in your course. So the, the student would want to click over here to see well what do I need to do online to maybe um, to make sure I get things uh, graded. Um, so I really don't have too much here for my Math 140. I kind of just tell them about my Math Lab, uh, make sure that is due. Um, it also in my I have the lab section and I just tell them that they need to make sure that they do their uh, their icebreakers. That's all. Not icebreakers, I'm sorry. Uh, their discussion board assignments. But basically um, the assignment section would be a section like if you want to have your students do something and it's going to get graded. That's what you want to put in there. And the fifth button is the course tools. Now in the course tools there is lots and lots of stuff here that we could use and most in like here in the math department we might not use all these things what I like to do is over here it says like show link hide link I like to hide a lot of these links so when a student would click on that course tool they don't see a whole bunch of junk and they have to kind of sort through. Right? So I make sure that, you know, if they wanted to look at the my grades, I think that's important. The announcements. So I'll click over here and what a student would see. So notice that when a student looks here, they only see the stuff that that probably is important. Right? As opposed to having a whole bunch of stuff here that they have to sift through. All right, so as you kind of set up your Blackboard course, the main thing is to just kind of focus at these five buttons. Probably the most important one is just the getting started. So that would be a good place to start, putting up your syllabus, putting up maybe a course schedule, 
right? And your second one, probably the most important, is you kind of work through and start um, putting some announcements, right?